The Omaha Henry Jorley Zoo and Aquarium crew is here with us today, and reptiles and amphibians keeper Brandon Greaves joins us. This is a Chuckwalla. Yeah, you said it right. Okay, it. thanks so much for being here this morning. Glad to be here. Okay, so tell us about this little guy. He's staring right at me, and it's making me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> well, he probably likes your pink sweater. Though. Oh, okay. He probably thinks it's a big flower. Oh, okay. <laughs> These guys do come from the Southwest United States. Okay. Uh, desert dwellers. Got you know, it. Completely. They're called flat rock or flat lizards or Chuckwallas. Okay. Uh, because they'll flatten themselves out as a defense. Mechanism and oh. dive into rock piles. Oh, you could, I don't know if that was, the camera might have been too far away. Maybe it was close up. You could see them flatten out. Yeah, and bit. then if you pet them one way, you can feel the scales are pretty smooth and you go backwards, it's like sandpaper. Really? So okay, if a predator, can I touch him? Yeah, yeah. So that way, if a predator, now go backwards. Oh, yeah. It's real rough. Like, really so, if rough. something were to try to take him out of rocks, it's not going to work. Got it. Okay. Now, is that as big as he gets? There are several different species. Some okay. do get a little bit larger than this, but this guy is full grown. Yeah. Okay. You so, how old him. is he? Uh, he's about four years old. Four years yeah. old. Yeah. Okay. How old do they live to be? Uh, 15, 20 years. Yeah. Okay. So, it's still got a long life ahead of yeah, him. Yeah, no kidding. It's longer. He keeps staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> he won't look away. Um, how many of these guys do you have there? Are there a lot of the Chuck Wallace? Yeah, we have six right now. Okay. Yeah, and you can see them on display in the Desert Dome in got the it. new Rattlesnake Canyon. Okay, got it. What else have you guys got going on that you want to tell us about this morning? Uh, we have yoga coming up. We have yoga. four sessions. Okay. Yep, yep. Yoga in the aquarium. In and the aquarium. If, yeah, yeah. And if you want to act, uh, you have to act quickly if you want to spot because they're filling up pretty quick. I would imagine that's yeah. pretty. The aquarium itself is pretty popular. So, what does yoga in the aquarium entail? Well, I've never done it, but <laughs> uh, but it's in the new conference center, okay. so it's a really nice ambiance. You have the tank behind you with all the fish, so it's a it's a really great event. Okay, great. Um, now, how big of how what's the capa capacity like there for that group? I don't know the exact number, but oh, you can go okay. to the website and check it out, yeah, or even course. try our new mobile app. Sure. Too. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. of course. Um, and the zoo this year is kind of fun because. It can be less busy, even though it's cold outside, and mm -hmm. there's plenty of indoor exhibits. This is one of my favorite times of year to go to the zoo. Oh, yeah, it's one of our favorite times of the year, too. That you want to tell us about to get people to come on out there? Uh, yeah, it's a great time to get a new membership. Uh, it's free zoo admission with IMAX also. Got and it. we have lots of different levels of membership. So uh, there's one for about any type of person out there. Wow, perfect. Yeah. And they can come see the Chuck Wallace. That's right. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for being here this morning, Brandon. Glad to be here. And like Brandon said, if you want to see what else is going on at the zoo, you can call their events calendar line. 402-733-8400 or log on to their website, omahazoo.com. Again, thanks so much for waking up and being here with us this morning. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks.